back uh, Manny Wilkins, and I'll start things off. I have a question for you, Manny. You know, you've had a heck of a career over there in Tempe, and uh, you know now you're approaching the last time as a collegiate uh, playing for the Sun Devils. And I'd like to know how important that is to you. One, the last game. Two, to get a win in this bowl. Yeah, um, it's been a it's been one long journey. Um, it's been an honor to be the leader of this football team for three years. Um, but uh, chapters come to an end. Every book has an ending. And uh, I'm really excited for the future of this program. I know the leadership is in the correct direction. Um, we got the right pieces in the correct places. And uh, it's just about staying the course. And these young guys are going to come in here and have to play. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited for the last game. I'm not going to be emotional as I was my last home game and the U of A game. But, um, it's a good opportunity for us to play one game together and uh, finish this thing strong. Great. I'm going to ask, uh, you know, uh, who is uh, Sun Devil's uh, running back uh, question, and you all can uh, ask all the questions of the two uh, Sun Devil players. Uh, you know, you know, you're you're approaching. Uh, and I'm sure you're very much aware of this a single season rushing record tomorrow, and you'll have to do it against one of the best defenses in college football. Very stingy defense, I might add. Now, I know that you've blocked a lot of time in the film room uh, looking at film. What impresses you most about the Bulldog defense? Their defense, they're uh, coached by a uh, well, uh, good person, like Coach Herm said. Uh, they're very disciplined, like a Stanford team. Um, uh, not the biggest, but they're tough, just like um, the team that we face uh, in San Diego State. So um, I think we've done a good job of uh, putting in some schemes to, uh, to help us um, and just going out there and doing what we do. Okay, questions for either of the ball players? Yes, sir. Hey, Manny, Shane Dale, ABC 15. Just um, how long did you enjoy the win in Tucson, and, and just how do you like mentally refocus after such an emotional victory like that? Uh, we had a little break after that game for finals week. Um, I went out for the first time after the U of A game with my teammates. Um, I don't really go out during the season, but they got me to go out after the U of A game. So. Um, that was that was my celebration, um, but uh, just another game. Oh, Manny Hodor, you know, Devils Digest. Uh, Herm talked about uh, the decision of Dekeel not playing in a ball game. If there was a ball game that was decided weeks ago, did you also kind of prepare mentally, so to speak, for that scenario weeks ago? Uh, what do you I mean, I mean, prepare that if it's going to be a ball game. Your last game at ASC was going to be without Nikhil Harris. Is that something you also saw weeks before it happened? Uh, I mean. Like he said, you know, he had to make a decision that was going to be the best decision for him. Um, and he was hitting me up for, you know, advice and all this stuff. And I simply told him, listen, you got to trust your gut. You got to trust what you feel is right. Um, don't feel like you owe anybody anything um, because you put yourself in this position to have an opportunity uh, to go to the next level and be a top draft pick. So, um, listen, if you are people are going to question his heart for not playing in this bowl game. I'll be the first to tell you he's one of the hardest working, most humble people I've ever been around. And all these blessings that are about to come to him, he's, he's earned and deserved it. So um, I'm just happy for him and the opportunity that he has. For both Manny and Eno, how's Las Vegas been this week? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Um, I think the best thing that can reflect what our team has done is we haven't had any issues. So that's, uh, that's something that we came here was um, Sin City, a lot of opportunities for distractions, um, many opportunities for distractions actually. And uh, it, they relied on the seniors. We didn't need coaches to you know, rip anybody or do anything. That's, that's on the leaders of this football team to control um, how your team handles you know, freedom. So we're, we, we handle the well. You know? I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not old enough to do anything, so. <laughs> You know, you're set to become the first Arizona State running back to lead Pac-10 slash Pac-12 in rushing. What does that mean to you? Really just a testament of uh, the work that we put in as a, as a group offensively. Um, offensive line has done a great job. Um, I spent quite a bit of time with them and just the fact that we're on the same page and they're able to digest what I'm telling them and what I'm seeing on the field to help open, or help open bigger runs and uh, just make things 
flow easier for us um, as me as a running back and Manny as a quarterback. Manny, Chris Hopkins from ABC in Fresno. Herm talked about the love of Barrett football. What's your love of Barrett football? What do you mean? Actually, you're shaking your head, kind of acknowledging what he's talking about, how much you love the game. You really have to love it. You either love it or you don't. How much do you love football? Yeah. Um, I mean, I just think if you watch how I play this game and the, the competitiveness that I play this game with, um, I think it speaks for itself. So I've always been someone where, um, I mean, here and there you got to talk a little bit on the field, you know, just to, just to do it, just because that's how, you know, competitive people play. But I don't got to do too much talking. I just look them in their eyes and, you know, let them know what type of time I'm on.